In 1996, the wreck of a Panzer IV chassis was recovered, having been discovered by the museum director Andre Langa in the marshy meadows near the village of Lushchin, not far from Yenjayuv. After conducting research, it was determined how the tank ended up in that location. It turned out that the Germans had abandoned the damaged Panzer IV hole in a field workshop, and it was later towed by the Russians as an anchor to pull out a Soviet T-34 tank stuck in the meadow. After the T-34 was freed and drove away towards Yenjeyev, the Panzer IV was left behind on the meadow. The wreck gradually sank into the swampy ground, and after many years, only the rear part of the hull was visible above the surface. For the next 50 years, no one paid attention to the vehicle until the workers from the Skarzysko Museum took interest in it. On the eve of its recovery, under the cover of night, the tank became the target of enterprising scrap metal collectors. Despite being marked with tape, the wreck was damaged when the scrap collectors used acetylene to cut off the underbody plate. Fortunately, the wreck still contained ammunition for the KWK gun, which likely made the collectors realize the potential danger and stop their work. The Panzer IV, introduced into service in 1937, was one of the most important German tanks used during World War II. It was known for its solid construction and adaptability to various roles on the battlefield, ranging from infantry support to armored combat. Its 75mm KWK-40 gun was one of the most effective of its time, capable of penetrating enemy armor. As a symbol of the power of German military engineering, the Panzer IV remains an important object of historical and collector interest, and its wreck in Olschkin is a valuable part of World War II heritage. The tank is currently being restored by the association working with the White Eagle Museum in Skarzysko, Kamiena. If you want more, let me know in the comments, subscribe, and leave a like. Thank you.